Okay, so it's very slow at work today. It's New Year's Eve. And I thought maybe I would just turn my video camera on. I'm still not brave enough to go live, so <laughs> this is as close as it's going to get to live. And I do apologize. But um, I'm working on some new items for my Etsy shop. And I thought maybe I'd just let you watch as I create them. I probably won't talk a whole lot. I don't talk a lot when I'm creating. I'm not sure why. I guess because I concentrate more on the creating than I do the action than anything else. At least that's what I tell myself. But you'll get a little bit of an insight into how the items are made so that when you see them on the shop, you can say, oh, I watched her make those. I know. Kind of silly, but I thought you'd like to see my thought process and my design process. I'm not saying that mine's any different than anyone else's or any better than anyone else's. I'm by no way by no means an artist let me say that up front not in any way shape or form but I do enjoy painting and I'm looking to include a newly discovered form of like I, I started doing mixed media this past year 2017 and most mostly on paper but I thought there has to be a way to be able to incorporate that into what I do so that's what I'm going to attempt on these. And if what I'm visualizing turns out, I think they'll be very nice. And when I get done with them, I hope to put them up on my Etsy site. And maybe combine the mixed media and my love for painting. So we'll see. But hopefully it will work out. I'm doing three different sets here. Three different colors. They will be sold individually. They won't be sold like three, 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 like that. I'm just doing it in that process just so I'll have several to put up. And I'm also in a small shop locally. I might take some of them there. If I like the way they turn out, I'll probably make more. Right now, I'm just doing the blue. I'm doing some in the pinks and, of course, the greens. I'm looking towards spring and moving away from the darker colors, but I can always go back to like the burgundies and the navies and stuff like that. That's not a big deal. I just wanted to do something a little bit different this, for these. And like I said, if they work out the way I think they're going to, they can be done in any colors. But we'll see. Now this video will be as long as either it takes me to make them, as take them to a certain point, or as long as my camera will hold out. It's been overheating. I cannot afford a new one right now, so I have to just make do with what I've got. Could very well end up that this will be in two pieces, I don't, two sections like parts. I don't know. But I will try and take you from beginning to end, if at all possible. And I am bad about getting on the edges, but I'm going to go back and doctor those up once I get my base coat on here. I don't worry too much and stress over that. The most stressful part for me believe it or not, is the base coating of the black. It takes so long. It's so monotonous. And it's all the same color, and there's no creativity to it. And that's the part that really kind of wears me out. But it is what it is, and I do like to have it painted all the way around if I haven't stained it. And it's too cold to get out and stain. That's something I can't do in the house due to the smell and my current lung issues. I'm still getting over whatever is wrong with my lungs. So, I do like to put two base coat co coats down because as you can see, on the blue, it's not too bad. I don't know why. One color more so than another. But as you can see on the green, the black is shadowing. Let me turn my other light on so you can see that better. My black is shadowing through real bad. But it doesn't shadow through real bad on the blue. But I go ahead and do a base coat, double base coat on each one of them, no matter what. So that's no big deal. Probably should have put some more rinse water over here. I only put a little bit. Didn't really expect to be painting today, but then didn't expect it to be so slow either. So let's put our other coat on. I'm just using basic craft paint. Now, for colors like burgundy, navy, uh, mustard gold, and hunter green, I use a lot of those. 
so I had some of those mixed up in quartz. I had some, some color matching done. Sorry about that. I've sat here for over four hours, not one call. I start to do something, I get a call. So I do apologize for that. I'm really not sure what I was saying. I think I was talking about the craft paint. I do have certain colors mixed um, that I use a lot of, but for the smaller ones, it's just as economical to buy the 88 cent bottles or whatever. Uh, these are Anita's. I'm, I'm not sure where they're from. I know Nicole's is from, I think, AC Moore. Maybe Anita's is from Michael's or, I don't know. But they, most of them run about the same, around 88 cents a dollar, something like that. Some, sometimes I found them on sale for 50 cents, and that's great. Like I said, it doesn't have to be the upper end ones. And if you're on a budget like me, and you're just happy to have some paint to work with, the cheaper ones will, will work. They really will. They, they do a good job of it. <coughs> Please excuse me if I do a lot of clearing in my throat and coughing. I'm still trying to get over whatever this is with my lungs. Um... I took my medicine like they told me to. They kept telling me I had strep throat, which I didn't, but they gave me Augmentin. And I really don't think it's what I should have been taking. I think it's more lung-based, but I'm still not over it. I finished up my prescription a few days ago, and it feels like it's coming back. So I think I need something a little bit different, but that's just me. So we've got our second coat of the base green on, because we're going to do it like this. We're going to do the two different shades. And then um, go from there, and that way I can incorporate my um, mixed media that I've been doing. And I think it'll turn out cute, but we will see. So we'll set the greens to the side because they've been double coated. This is my experiment one. <laughs> I experimented on this one, and I still have to clean the edges up on it. And I wasn't sure if it worked the way I wanted it to, but I think it will. So, it, you don't really know until you get to the very end. I mean, you can have a thought process and think, oh yeah, that'll work great. But until you really put it down onto wood or onto paper like anything else, you really don't know. I'm not as good a visionary of items as some people are. I mean, I know some people who can take it from a thought or a vision to a completed item and it be exactly how they envisioned it. Not me. I take too many twists and turns along the way and <laughs> sometimes I change my mind in midstream. So I think that's just my prerogative as both an artist and a female. So <laughs> we're allowed to change our mind. This one won't need as much of a base coat because like I said, for some reason the black just does not show through this blue. This is an apple barrel blue. It could be because the others, the Anitas, could be a little bit thinner, less pigmentation. I don't know. But it doesn't really hurt to, hurt to put the second coat on. It really doesn't. At least I don't think so. Gives it a rich color. I like it. I just try to put thin coats on anyways. So that it, um, dries faster because I'm very impatient. On this one here, I was hitting it with my heat gun and I was like, I gotta move on. I gotta see how this mixed media is gonna work. How these circles are gonna look in this punchinella and this texturing, if I need any texturing and <clears throat> I drive myself crazy with it. Okay, so we're done with the light blue. So I'll go ahead and put that one up because I don't think we'll need that again. That's all from here on out. It'll be the darker colors on there. And one more layer on my pink. Make sure my pinks are pretty dry. Well, for some reason, this apple barrel pink has always had a sheen to it. <coughs> it's called pink blush, so it shouldn't really. Oh, I see why. I think I just figured out why. It's a gloss. Well, that explains it. That's why it has a sheen. I did not know it was a gloss when I picked it up. And it's not going to hurt anything. It really isn't. I don't think so, anyways. It's a pretty pink. That's all that matters. But I wondered why it was so 
such a sheen to it. That does make it harder to cover up the black. So we may not get full coverage over the black with the pink. But that just adds to it, I think. And a little bit of shadowing never hurt nothing. I'd really, in the new year, I'd like to learn how to shade, but I have tried for years, oh, probably decades, trying to learn how to shade, and I just can't get it. So I'll probably take the cheating way of doing it and use, like, the tr distress items or distress crayons or something water-based. And I need to experiment with that and see if the shading will work without dissolving off of it on me. I really should be painting my brush onto my unwanted paint pages for my journals. But I'm not. So, let's see about getting those dried a little bit quicker. It's going to be some noise. I do apologize. What did you do at work today, Tracy? I sat and watched paint dry. <laughs> I have such an active and elegant life. I think we can move on to the next stage now. Excuse me. Okay, let me get down my little bucket of textures. So I know I'll use the punchinella. I used that on it. <clears throat> and I think that was my pen cap that I have in here. Let me make sure. Well, I was looking for my gold paint. There it was. Things you find. Pretty sure that was my off my old white pen. Yep, that's it. Okay, so put that back up and get this stuff out of the way. I save everything. Bottles. I can use that. I can use that. I don't, I don't care. It's round. It's texture. <coughs> I might have to do a video showing you some of my texture items. Some of them I discovered on my own. Some I discovered through videos on YouTube. And what it, it's one of those kind of things where it's like you, head, forehead slaps like I never thought you could use that. So here, as you can see, a work in progress. I got those laying everywhere. This was an exp I'm sidetracking while that's drying a little bit more. This is an idea I had. Um, this was some leftover. What do you call it? vinyl? Uh, flooring vinyl. And I did notice. I did not notice this when I was doing it. But I did notice it afterwards that when I was working on it, when I, I was working in layers, as you can see, there's several layers there. When I was working in layers, what I was doing was in between the layers, I was drying them. And when I dried them, evidently it was causing, see, it's just regular flooring vinyl that was left over when my landlord had new flooring put down in the kitchen here because of the hot water heater dusting. I've had this sitting around almost, I don't know, months. And I thought, well, there's got to be a way to use it. And I've got a no few other things in the works maybe to try with it. But I thought I'd experiment with it and see if I could paint on it. Which, yes, you can. But you can't just slap paint on it. Do not just sit down and put paint on it. It won't work. It. I had to gesso each side. Well, this side had to be gessoed twice. This side, I believe, was three, three times. There has to be something to grip that paint and hold it. But when I was doing my different layers of paint, I was drying in between. And what I wasn't noticing is that, if you look, there's a slight smidge of a difference in the thicknesses now. Evidently, when I was drying it and heating it with a heat gun, it was contracting, this, this vinyl was. Which is fine. It didn't hurt anything. But it's kind of nice because it's not quite as flimsy as it was either. And I was, one, I was thinking maybe that would make a cute magnet. But again, a work in progress. I don't know about that. So, I digress. 
so where were we we are going to do now we are going to put the punchinella use the punchinella to put the solid more solid looking dots on this punchinella was gifted to me by a sweet <coughs> lady that I met on Facebook her name is Charlotte Fletcher if you have never seen her work you need to go and look at her work she has a, a shop on Etsy and let me look it up real fast here I'm pretty sure it's um, let me see Roman land woodcrafts I know her blog is romalandwoodcrafts.blogspot.com, but her Etsy shop is I can never get it when I first try it. It's something about how you have to separate the words or keep them together. That it's okay, yeah. It's all one word Roman Land Woodcrafts. R O M A L A N D W O O D C R A F T S. She does the, that, she paints so good. She is such a good painter. When I grow up, I want to be Charlotte. <laughs> and she's such a sweet individual and so kindly turned. And she is just a blessing. I, I love having her on my Facebook feed because she posts stuff that's so inspiring every day. And it seems like whenever she posts it, I'm needing to hear it. Or it pertains to me. And I call it perfect timing. So if you get a chance, check out her website and give her some love. Taylor Tracy sent you. So we're going to apply this with a brush. I know some people use a sponge. Tracy's not a sponge user. She learned how to do stenciling on her own with a regular paint brush. So that's what she uses. And I don't see it. <laughs> I'm talking in third person. <laughs> I get, get that from Seinfeld. And um, I don't see it changing me using a sponge. I'm just more, I mean, me using a brush, I'm just more comfortable with that and I'm a firm believer with go with what's comfortable for you you don't have to do what everyone else does I mean your work is your own your own style your own vision don't be pressured to do what others do I used to get so upset thinking well I'm not doing it the way they're doing it or I'm not doing it exactly the same twice or I'm not this and I'm not that and I wouldn't enjoy what I was doing and I want to enjoy my creating so this is how I choose to do it I'm not saying it's the right way I'm not saying it's the wrong way I'm saying it's the way for me so just keep that in mind okay and I'm using the punchinella as a stencil as you can see as you've probably already figured out I love this stuff. I do. This is the best thing that anyone could have gifted me was Punchinella. <clears throat> I absolutely love it. And not, not, I never have two items come out the same. Try as I might, I just, I don't. Some I'm more heavy handed on, others I'm not. Uh, some I put more dots on, some I don't. It just depends on my mood. You know? It's just see like here for instance this is very lightly dotted okay very few this one has more that doesn't make this one right and that one wrong or whatever it's just how it ended up being when I was doing it so keep that in mind too it doesn't have to be perfect I mean handmade varies because of the handmade aspect I do have people who seem to think that because it's even though it's handmade they expect it to be exactly the same people when you buy handmade it's just that handmade it's not if you want exactly the same buy it in China where it's manufactured by a computer that's the best advice I can give you <coughs> because 
Handmade is just that, handmade. Each one's individual, each one's different. And that's what gives them their uniqueness and their appeal. And as this dries, it gets a little bit darker too. So where I was really heavy handed, it shows up more. Where it's not so much, it shows up, but it's not as much as the other. So on this one, we're going to add some of this roundness. I'm using this lid. Whoop. If I can hold, I'm having trouble holding on to stuff today. My arthritis. And we're just going to randomly dot. I like to put them up against each other so that the dots will overlap on one block to the other. I think that's kind of nifty. Again, random. Doesn't have to be perfect. If it had to be perfect, there's no way I could do it. And it doesn't have to be the same on each block. And that's that. So we will let that dry. And I'm going to have to get my unwasted paper journal out here. I just can't waste that paint. Can't, uh, not unwasted paper, unwasted paint. I can't stand the thought of that little bit of paint being wasted and not used. So, this is what I've got <laughs> I'm working on. That page is really ugly, but I will turn it into something, I'm sure. That one's pretty good. That one's pretty good. I, I just need to add some shapes to it, so I guess we'll start another one. And that's all I did. Just wipe it on there. And in different layers and different colors, eventually it will build into something <coughs> that I can work with. So, with that done, I didn't clean my block off last time I used it. Now it's all I ain't going to scrub it. I don't feel like it. Scrub it later. So, the green ones are ready to dry. Put them there. Let them dry a little bit while we're working on the blue ones, and then we can just dry them all at once with the heat gun if necessary. So let's get the blue ones done. I have looked looked high and low everywhere that I go, like back home, the Huntington area, Pikeville. I'm going to look, try and look when I go to Comic Con in Lexington in a couple months. Um, try and look for different supplies I can't find here. Like, for instance, the Punchinella. I can't find that anywhere around here. It's ridiculous. I don't know why, but I can't. I think this is the right color. Let's see. Yeah, that's the right color. Just a shade or two difference. That's all we're going for. Just enough to show up. See? Just enough to show up color difference. <coughs> I still haven't got my craft room set up the way I want it. I know I said a while back I'd do a video of my craft, craft studio slash uh, office for my job, my at-home job that I do work. And I, I, have, I didn't forget. I just have not got it organized the way I want it. I love how that comes through like that. Now, if I wanted to do that, it would not do that. <laughs> um, I just haven't got it. I cannot get a happy setup for my shop, uh, office. I just, I can't. I've tried and I've tried and it, it's just not working. And I'm trying to do it without buying anything. I mean, I bought a hutch. That's what my camera's attached to. And you'll see that when I do my... Um, tour if I ever get it done. I bought it for five dollars at a local gift sh craft shop. Not craft shop. Uh, what do you call it? Thrift shop. And I love it. It holds a lot of stuff. It's it, stuff that's in reach when I need it. 
and I don't have to go looking for it. The stuff I use the most, like my gesso and my Mod Podge and stuff like that, is all in there. And um, but it's blocking my natural light where I have it setting, but I'm kindly limited on where I can set it. And this room is just laid out weird. It's hard to explain, but I'm very limited on what I can do with it. I've got one actual window right now. I have an area in front of my laundry room area, my washer and dryer, that I have a bunch of stuff. I call it my uh, throw it there area. That's where I throw everything I just don't want to deal with and never have dealt with it and really need to. And so I'm, my goal, I started emptying that out a few weeks ago. Then I got sick. So that put the kibosh on that getting done. So that's what I'm wanting to do early in the new year because it'll create more room in here. Maybe I can figure out a better layout for how to put my tables because I just, I don't know. It just isn't working right now. So, And there's the blue ones done right there. And I cannot see if I'm in frame or not. I, I figure I'm in frame by this piece of paper, but as far as the rest of it, I'm sorry if I'm not. I cannot get my program that I use to mirror to my computer to work. It always shuts off. And I've got to email into tech support, but that was before the holiday. And I figure they're probably out till after New Year's. So I don't expect to hear back from them on that anytime soon. But maybe I will. I don't know. <clears throat> so now we're going to do the pink ones. I hope this pink is dark enough to show up. I didn't really want to go with the purpley look. It would have been too dark. I want something subtle. Let's see, we won't even tilt it. There's no sense in tilting it because I can control which ones I want to use. I don't know if it's going to show up or not. Let's see. Yes, it does. Just enough. That's wonderful. up just I didn't do a whole I didn't really do enough circles but that's okay like I said there's no there really isn't a right or wrong I don't know why I said I didn't do enough because there's just no right or wrong to it all it's just however you want to do it <clears throat> so I'm thinking in hindsight I might have used that a little bit heavy handed but whatever. Well it'll live. It will live. Yeah, I'm very judgmental with green because green is my least favorite color. Definitely my least favorite. I just I, I really need to expand upon my colors but you know again I try not to stress my finances too much with it because I don't get a lot of hours at my job and I do have it's just me and bringing in income and can't get Ruru to work you know, I've tried to get her to get out and get a job she won't do it that's my furry baby, my little Jack Russell. And so, I don't see that happening. 
and I just threw that wet wipe away without checking to see what the colors are on it. I save my wet wipes if the colors look good. That's not too bad. We'll let that one dry. We might be able to do something with it. <coughs> so let's go ahead and hit this with the heat gun. Get it to dry it. Now I think what we're going to do, if you can hear me above the heat gun, I'm going to splatter it a little bit with white. <clears throat> that I will have to do off camera because I have a splatter box, so I don't get it all over anything. And um, I'll come back when I get that done and I'm ready for the next step. I forgot before I can splatter it because I'm going to splatter it all the way around the back sides and all that I need to clean up my edges so let's go ahead and do that real quick and we'll clean up the edges like my makeshift my lid cracked on it and it was getting all over me so I had to do a makeshift and I used electrical tape hey it works I don't get black paint on me so See if we can get this cleaned up without messing the edges up too bad. Some days are good, some days not so good. We will see. All I'm doing is just barely tapping black there to try and clean those edges up. And if it gives it like a, what do you call it, like an inky look around the edge, that's fine. I have no problem with that. I'm all about the farmhouse rustic look anyways because... Like I said, I am not a professional painter. I am not a perfect painter by any way, shape, or form. So, if it has a little bit of that look to it, that's fine by me. I'm going to get some of this out here. It's getting very low. I have a new one, but don't want to open it until this one's about gone because... just don't like the idea of wasting it. I could always add water to this and take it down to an ink consistency and then use it as just my bottle of splattering, black to black splatter. But I don't splatter a whole lot in black, so I don't want to do that right now. As you can see, I'm not like worrying about a perfect line or a perfect edge. Oh, and I'm using Jingo blocks. Another thing that um, Charlotte Fletcher suggested was to take... A, I've seen these all the time at the thrift store I go to that I got my hutch from. I see this kind of stuff. And she had mentioned it one day that she used Jingo blocks to paint on. And I thought, well, why didn't I think it? See, I don't think of this stuff. I don't. And... Um, I'm like, why didn't I think of that? I see them all the time, like in bags for like 30 cents for the whole set of Jingle Blocks. I think 30 or 50 cents is what I paid for them. And they're a perfect wooden blank. I mean, for what I'm wanting to do with them and for, for what other things I want to do with them, they're great. Very little prep to them. They, ho they seem to hold the paint very well so far. And once I seal them, they should be fine. So, it's just whether or not my mixed media idea will work or not. We will see. I was really surprised that my 
paint idea I've worked on that vinyl flooring so that kind of tickled me to death right there I, I first time I believe I've ever come up with an original idea I don't think I saw it anywhere else and what else I want to do to with the vinyl flooring I've kindly seen a little mention of it but not the specific material I'm going to use so again it'll be a little bit different if it works I don't know if it will or not time will tell that's a project for another day it's still in the envisioning phase and if it works out anybody can go to Lowe's and buy the flooring you know, they sell it by the foot they sell sample pieces of it and I mean what I what I would want to do with it if you buy like a foot of it it's like I think 12 foot long or something like that you'd be able to get several of what I'm wanting to make out of it you could give them as gifts or make them all for yourself mine's going to be what I'm wanting to make out of it if it works I have to get done before March because it's going to be something for Comic Con so I will at least get it try and get it videoed and put up by then so I'll know if it's a epic fail or not so I can I need to get it done tried in advance so if it doesn't work I can come up with something else see they do have the rounded edges the Jenga blocks do and that's why your paints going over when you paint on it you base coat which I don't mind but I don't like that hard edge you know what I'm saying so that's why I'm putting the bank, black paint on it because it gives it a little bit of a jagged look but not a messy look see here how it's kind of messy there then when I go over it I would rather the black be the messy part it's hard to explain but that's personal preference if you don't mind that being on there don't worry about it you're the artist it's your call no one else's. I don't like when I'm told I have to do it a certain way or I have to paint this pattern a certain way. When if I when I on the few occasions that I do get patterns of any kind, I alter them. I make them mine, my style, my vision, what I like. If my customers don't like it then I don't make it anymore. It's as plain simple as that. And not everyone's going to like what you make. I mean, you can't please all the people all the time. I mean, and the sooner you stop stressing about that, the more you'll like creating. I know people who stress so much on, will they like it? Will they not? Did I do it wrong? Did I do it right? I don't think there's any right and wrong way when it comes to your creativity. Like this is the one I did here. Can you see that one? <coughs> right here. That's the first one I did. You notice there's some black showing through. I didn't do a second coat on that one. No harm, no foul. I don't care. It really doesn't matter to me. That one's different than the rest. It'll live. No big problem. That might be the one that one person likes because it looks more farmhouse. Another person might like the other one because it looks more complete. Individual preference, again. Let me put my stuff back in my box of texture here so I won't lose it. For some reason, I put my metallic gold in there and I looked for it all Christmas season and didn't find it. Got to hydrate a little bit here. So I'm going to let those dry, then I'm going to splatter the white paint on them, and then I should be back for the next step. Okay. See where I left a little bit? I'll have to trim that off. That's really no big deal, though.
I'm wanting to do one of each color in each same. So I will need three of each same. I'll save these big ones. I might use them in journaling. I'm not sure yet. I'm sure I will. I'm not, I shouldn't say I'm not sure yet because I'm sure that's what will be done. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I need to trim these off the side. My phone is still acting up. Let me make sure it's still recording. Yes, it is. Okay, see how they're going to look. Just like I envisioned. Now, what I want to try and do is I want to try and antique it up a little bit. I know I can antique the wording, but I don't know about the wood block because I cannot float to save my life. Oh, yes, it's working. So happy. Gives it the um, shaded look, which I'm so grateful for. That looks nice. I like that. This kind of gives it that extra farmhouse look to it of the aged. I think I might need a new foam pad on here because this one seems to be dropping pieces. Hopefully it'll hold out long enough to get these done. Because I'm really not sure where those are at. Still haven't got my, again, yeah, I know I harp on it, but I haven't got my workroom completely organized. Now, now there's a reason for that, which I'm not going to go into. But I am trying to get it at least manageable. We will see. I didn't know if that would work or not, but I'm so glad that it did. So, so glad. And this is um, archival ink, so when I go to put my mat on to seal it, I won't have to worry so much about it smudging and running and doing all that icky stuff that some of the inks do. Archival and stays on are pretty good about not doing that. At least they have been in my experiences. This may be the one time it'll prove me wrong. So we'll see. So I need to also ink up around my wording, which I'm going to put on there like that.
Go ahead and take care of that one for later. Use it on something. My OCD wouldn't let me keep from doing something to it. <laughs> And that color is coffee, in case anyone's wondering, that I'm using in this stain, the archival ink. Where's the other one? Right there in front of my eyes. Oh my gosh. I'm losing my mind. I'm wanting to get one other video done today on my... Um, daily scripture journal because I did join a group for 2018 daily scriptures I've had a lot of upheaval and sadness here in the last few months and I really don't want 2018 to be that way I'm hoping by doing the daily scriptures and doing my best to stick to them that it'll make a difference. My cousin's always telling me that the Lord has a plan for everything, which really, to be honest, is strange coming from her because she never she never spoke of anything like that when we were growing up because neither one of us was raised in it. But she does speak of it more, and that kind that makes me happy for her. But. I don't know, it's just, it's, it's more complicated than that, so, but I'm hoping by reading the scriptures it gives me some comfort and some guidance, and it's strength and happiness and all that good stuff, helps me to choose happy. <laughs> okay, now we got those done. Now what we're going to do is we're going to apply the mat, and with that I'm going to use what kind of a brush here. I've never used this one to my knowledge. I'll try this one. It might be good for putting it on. I don't know. We'll see. And all I do is put just a little bit down where I want it. Place it there. As straight as I possibly can and then whoop, there's some dried up stuff and then go over it with it and I'm going to do the whole front of the block I can go back and do the other sides later that way I will know that that parts done so and I'm going to turn them upside down as I do them so I know that I've gotten them done I don't have to have them in the same exact place on everyone, but I would like it to the side, bottom, and side. So that is how I'm going to do it. 
just intended to be something to set on a shelf or at a workplace to where you can glance at it and maybe it will bring you a certain amount of joy or comfort. have to watch how I turn well it really doesn't matter how I turn them that's just again OCD need to make sure I let these dry real good before I try and do the other sides. I tend to get impatient. I don't like to use the heat gun on this part because something to do with maybe it heats, it dries on top but not through or something. I've had, I've experienced it staying sticky for a while. I mean eventually it does, it does cure all the way through but I don't want all that stickiness because I don't know what else I'm wanting to do to it. So I'll have to be patient and let them dry. Let's see if that's okay. It's a little bit longer, so. Like I said before, this is a Jenga game piece. Now, I did get some from, I think it was the dollar store, that were similar, the same, they look like they may be the same thicknesses. I think I compared them. They're the same thicknesses and the same width, but the other ones from the dollar store are not rounded on the edge, top and bottom edge, and that might work in hindsight just as well as the Jenga's in the sense that I'm not going to have that bleeding over that I have to fix, which really doesn't take that much time. But still, it might end up being something that, you know, I prefer. I may do some of them next, see how they do, and then go from there. So, in fact, I think I will get one out. Go ahead and base coat it black while those are drying. And... <clears throat> See how it does. I had them up over top here, so let's see how it does. Let's see if they're about the same this way. Yeah, they're pretty close. So let's go ahead and get that one base coated. 
really, really quick. Hopefully. So I can make a huge mess here. Eh. Which I'm good at doing. Okay, let's see. Let's get this here. Oh, this is going to drink the paint. Oh! That was just a bit too much. My black paint, for some reason, has really watered down. And... We'll have to let that dry a little bit. Oh, no, we don't. <laughs> Impatience. This is made for people like that. Sure does soak up the paint more in that Jenga tile, but I'm thinking that Jenga tile has a little bit of a finish on it. This one doesn't seem to even be sanded like smooth. It's not real smooth. So that could be a whole lot of it too. I don't know. Got it all over me. I do know that. A messy, messy crafter. Messy crafter. Okay, I think maybe I need to clean some brushes while I'm at it. Looks like I got this one a little bit crooked. Probably got more than just one crooked. Almost guarantee it. But they do seem to be drying pretty fast, so that's good. Probably where I have the heat on. So high here. It's first day of January is a cold day. We're supposed to get up in the 30s on the weekend, and that's going to be like being living in the tropics. I hope everyone had a safe and a fun New Year's Eve. Me and Miss Rue were in bed at 8 o'clock. That's how we ring in the new year. <laughs> Thought I was getting over my cough and it's trying to come back. And just all kinds of stuff going on. I hope it's not an indication of what the new year's going to be like. Because I rang in the new year sick and with $1 in my checking account. So I'm hoping that that's not an indication of what it's going to be like. So... 
but I got some bills paid, so I guess it's not all bad. Okay, let's see how this is doing. Don't know. Don't think I like that one to put that on with. I think I'm going to go with this bigger one. It just took too long. So, let's see if I got all the black out of it. No, I didn't. Let's put it in here. This is my clean water from my... I was playing with my watercolors, trying to decide what I wanted to do with my scripture journal. I think I've decided it, so... I'll be doing a video on decorating some pages in it and just going on and on and talking like I always do. So look forward to that, I'm sure. So let's go ahead and put the ends in the back on these. Let's see how the ends in the back. I do hope I'm in frame. If not, I am so, so, so sorry. This is the only matte medium I've ever bought. And since buying it, I've seen online that you can use 50-50 glue, which is 50, like half glue, half water, and it achieves the same thing. So I think when I run out of this, maybe before then, I'm going to um, go that route. Because this matte medium is not cheap, cheap stuff, and I'm not a professional painter. I just dabble in mixed media and just for fun. And if it works, then I try and create something that I can sell. But it is I find it very relaxing. And after losing Boo Boo, it seems to be helping to heal my heart. And it was the funniest thing that when I am doing it here lately, not as much, she still does, but Rue doesn't come in and fuss at me as much. I'm not sure why or what is influencing that, but she doesn't. And maybe she knows I need to do this. Just too much going on and too much stress to not have my something like this to do with my hands. It was always... It used to be my livelihood more so than it is now, but it's always been a stress reliever. Turn my printer off. My ink is getting low in it where I ran off from my journal. And I also ran me off a planner, which I got to get that one decorated too the first week. We're already day one and I haven't done the first thing to it other than cut it, put it in the notebook, and that's about it. <laughs> it's a very basic one. And I tried the Happy Planner last year and the personal size. I didn't care for either one. Then it just seemed like there was too many rules to follow and stuff. I just want something to kind of jot something down in and maybe decorate for fun. Nothing stressful. Again, trying to move away from stress in 2018. And day one, not looking so good. So... My landlord keeps coming and going. Her husband does. And I keep hearing banging and I don't know what it is. I always have to look. When um, Rue doesn't hear as well as she did. So she doesn't always hear the banging. I don't think she worries about it as much during the day as when it gets dark. That's when she'll bark the most about it. So I have to kind of keep an eye out about what the banging is during the day. I take care of the daylight hours. She takes care of the night hours. We're a good team. We really are. <clears throat> I 
started the new year out with a headache. I know it's stress headache. I know what it is. It's either that or from where I'm, I didn't get over whatever was causing my cough. I have still been coughing a lot. <clears throat> it's really bad at night when I lay down to sleep. And so I'm pretty sure what's causing it. But I had hoped that what they gave me would clear it up. And I've been off it for about, oh, four days. And it's starting back just like it did before. I'm pretty sure it's not sinuses or sinus infection because they had me on Augmentin. And I would think that that would have taken care of the majority of it. So I don't think that's what it is. I think it's more lung based. But whatever it is, all the coughing and everything and just keeping a headache. Like awful. Okay, that's the ends and the backs. We're going to let them dry. Then we'll do the sides. Then we'll decide if there's anything else we want to do. In the meantime, I'm going to do this one. And I'm going to do it in a, let's see, maybe a dark purple with some burgundy spots. Get everything off my, yeah. no, we're going to do it in a burgundy with pink spots and gold. Or maybe silver. No, gold. Where did I put that gold at? That I found the other day. Aw, oh, foo. I've lost it again. Well, that's just not right. Did I put it in here at the new ones I got? Nope. I think I'm in a coppery. I want gold. Where's my gold? There's my silver and gold. My silver, where's my gold? Huh. Well, that's weird. That is, the, there it is, right under my nose again. Oh my gosh. Let me get down my bucket of texture. So we're going to do this one in burgundy with pink circles. Maybe we'll just do it burgundy with gold circles and gold. Yeah, that's what we might do, just to see how that turns out. We may leave that one depending on how it dries with just one coat. See how bad that sinks in. And then we'll go from there. So when that all dries, we'll come back.